Greetings. The Remnant Art Ministries deployed gospel workers to an unentered area known as Excelsior. These gospel workers started working from the 28th of November right through to the 4th of December 2016. Here is their review. Uh, we've met quite a number of people and their responses are, are interesting. Yeah, and they made me reach the conclusion that there's much work to be done. People do not know that Christ is coming. People are not aware of what's happening around us. Mostly young people and people. If I should say, around here and make way to happen, you know. So good people, I don't know, people that know what's happening around, there's just a lot of work for us to do. People of God are gonna die if we keep quiet, if we do not share any of these things, any of what's happening because it's really happening and we see it. And the only painful thing is gonna happen whether we like it or don't like it whether we choose or not choose because by not choosing we choose so there's work to be done people do not so far we've heard quite a number of interviews a lot of people have been responding some in a way that we were not expecting some in a very positive way that which we were expecting people are aware that there's something happening but not many are aware what that is unfortunately there's a lot of learning that needs to be made around here we're at excelsior we have people who recognize the heat the rain the the wrong things crime wise and everything that is happening in the community they need a solution most of them need a solution they don't know where to go how to go about it and whom to address but now we've been given people hope that there is a Christ that is coming there is a king that is coming that will actually cheer them up that will give them the answer that they've been asking secondly we have the group that knows and are away few are those and they're expecting a solution also from heaven but they don't really know that Jesus is coming very soon. Hence, there is too much learning that needs to happen. Uh, you know, the response was quite um, interesting and yet challenging to times, especially with the ministers of the gospel. Because you see, as you go around asking people whatever is going on, they are not aware of really what is happening. They are not aware of this ecumenical thing going on and just a lot of them do not know what's the purpose of this thing but one thing that we can show out of the whole situation is that they are for ecumenism more than against because it seems that everybody is burdened under all these conditions that are going on look at the climate change look at the issue of rain look at the drought you see that everybody's just fed up even with the crime that is increasing daily and then people, when they hear about this unity of religions, they think that is something that is going to call the attention of God to pity our dying world. And yet, the matter of fact is, that thing is a thing that will bring us destruction upon these people. And it's up to them the Adventists now. It's up to those who have the present truth to go out there and warn these people about the Pope as the Lord of Sin. Although he is uniting the churches, but his end is going to be destruction together with those people. So I think this just gave us, as the ministers of the word, the challenge to go out there and preach what Christ told us to preach just before he comes. For if we do not go, the blood of those people will be asked on us. So much work is to be done. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for responding to the interviews that took place today. Which is something very interesting pertaining to the response of the world to the issue of ecumenism. And as the brethren who have spoken before have said, well, the people are ready and are for the movement of the ecumenism. Well, there's one thing that I noted as people were responding to the questions that were asked, and what I, I, I spotted quite 
very picky. I was picky on that one because the issue that they mentioned that we have to come to a point where we throw away uh, all un unnecessary things and come to a common point of understanding, especially pertaining to the religious things. And as I was typing what they have been saying there, I noticed that people call themselves Protestants, but they don't actually know why they are, they are being Protestants. And the young girls whom we've met, they mentioned that point that yes, we know that we are not part of the Catholic Church, we are of the Protestants, but we don't know why did we end up becoming the Protestant Church that we are. You see, not only that point, they want, they want to know how of the papacy, they are not really informed of that one, they want to know a lot of things. But at the end of the day, one thing that is strikingly uh, painful to my heart is that they are ignorant of the of the current events they're ignorant of things which really matter which are there for the salvation of souls even unto a point where even their welfare as a people is infringed but they cannot see what what is really at stake here this issue of uh, climate change the issue of humanism to them we need to be pitied by the lord and we should come with the unity and come that says to us the popular vote goes for ecumenism and the mark of the beast and said but by the grace of god giving them hope as well giving them the knowledge that means they get, that they have to get the seed that we have sown here in the sense that the candle that we have lit shall not be extinguished by the grace of god